I'll show you how to make a double dropper loop that you can use for sea bass as well as flounder fishing for the summer. So rather than paying, what is it, like three, four, six dollars worth of rigs that you would buy at a tackle shop, you could simply make this. You just you just know how to make it and once you do that it would cost you a couple cents to make it i mean this vanish um 350 yard fluorocarbon you could buy it on amazon and other places uh, based on how many yards anywhere from ten dollar that would ten dollar to twenty dollar that would make you you know hundreds and hundreds of rigs for many years uh, to be exact and um you never have to make it. You you make it in a style that you want, uh, that fits uh, your type of fishing, whether it's going to be off of, off of pier or or on a boat. For me specifically, I get on a boat and I like to try new things. So um, I use various lines, especially for double loop. You could use um, light light fluorocarbon but I would recommend around 40 pounds but again this is all based on preference right uh, on how you want to make it so let me show you what a dropper loop is um, so you want to get uh, a fishing hook J hook or wide hook whatever hook you want again it's up to you there's no real rule the the fish it, fish in the ocean's not going to look at it and go oh that's not the way you're supposed to catch me and and then uh, refuse to bite it they're going to bite no matter how you rig it and it comes with trial and error i think you just got to try different things that's the whole fun about fishing right you want to try different things you want to you don't want to stick to what works you just you know what works so what else would work is just figuring things out that maybe it, that's probably why fishing is a hobby right if you if you're just gonna catch if you just want to catch fish uh, rather than enjoy fishing get a charter boat um, pay a little bit amount of money and get a charter boat with your friends and they'll guarantee you the captain uh, will guarantee you limit on your fishing uh, catch um, head boat i think is a longer trip that's why i tell you to get on a party or head boat if you're just going out to, to relax if you want like you you want equivalent of the cost that you spend to catch fish i mean just go to a sushi bar and um, pay for pay for the fish or go to a fish market you'll get a better deal otherwise just try different things and enjoy it so for instance um i think i i have a video already made for a a direct line to your for a drop shot so let me do a double drop loop here uh, there's no rule again depending on how long you want this to be uh, for for me, again, uh, I'm not gonna tell you how you should, how how much line or how heavy or how light. I'm just gonna show you how to make the dropper loop. So, you basically get a line with your finger, right, like this, and then you want to make a loop like this. But then, as you make a loop, you want to start using your fingers, your index finger, to twist it. You're gonna twist it this way towards your tour away from the tip and then here you're gonna go towards the tip and what it does is it's gonna make this little dropper loop right here so think of it as um, if you're eating hot Cheetos or something and you're just trying to rub off the cheese off your finger that's basically what you're doing you want to go back and forth and back and forth and then as you do it you want to pull back and forth and so see how my left finger is constantly turning this way and readjusting this way while this finger is going towards the tip away from the tip towards the tip so you just do that and you want to make back and forth and back and forth just like that and again if this is a lighter uh, tackle 
for instance, if it's like a 15 pound fluorocarbon, uh, this is not going to be as stiff. So heavier you go, stiffer you're going to get, you're going to have on a dropper loop. And then you decide how long of the dropper loop you want or how short, right? I do it like this because I don't, I don't like this little, the regular way that most um, captain or deckhand would give you is this big loop. And I don't like this big loop, it gets caught and things like that. So I prefer this little tight, stiff uh, dropper loop here. And once you have that, the length that you want, you just want to turn it upside down. And you make a little loop just like that. You want this loop um, just like this, this line. You, all you have to do is just upside down and give it a space just like this. And then you turn it, you get this little eye right here. And you turn it twice, three times, four times, five times. Again, this is up to you. Do it however, there's no right or wrong way. Six times and usually I like once this starts moving naturally towards the hole, that's when I go ahead and put this eye that you just created, the dropper loop, into the eye. And then carefully, you straighten this out, right? And you could wet it or however you want to do it. And you want to start pulling it. And as you pull it, watch out for these loops. Um, this has a bigger loop, so you just want to tighten it by pulling it using your finger lightly straighten it out and then keep pulling it and you see now this side has a bigger loop so you want to straighten this up just like that and then slowly pull it again so you ha you can wet it you don't have to I don't like licking on this so I just do it I patiently and voila that's what you get see that you got a dropper loop right here or whatever you want to call it but this is how you, you basically make one of these down for a down, uh, high, low rig. And you simply, um, again, you could put it the hook upside down, sideways, however you want to do it. Um, you just have to make, get the right hook with the right eye size. And you just put the eye into the hole. And you put this same eye into the hook. And that's it. You just start pulling it slowly and voila. Now you got this little dropper look hook. It's upside down, but again, um, you could hook, you could easily fish like this. It'll bite. Uh, flounder or sea bass will bite. It doesn't matter. Their mouth is going to cover the whole thing. Or if you prefer it up, if you're putting like a shad or something, some bait for presentation, you just twist it and really easily. Um, go up to the other side. But anyhow, this is what you get. You get two of these. So let me show you another. Um, so you don't have to rewind and play it again. Again, you grab it and then start twisting it, right? Again, like almost as if you just ate Cheetos and you're trying to get this Cheeto cheese off your hand. So you make a little loop like that and then turn back and turn but you want to turn it one way just like that this thumb towards your tip of your index finger and left hand away from the index finger just like that and then to make it stiff you just pull as you hold it so the 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 line doesn't get doesn't unwind you just pull it back and forth back and forth and then as you do that you keep turning Initially, if your hand is a little bit dried or too wet, it's going to be difficult. So if you have a little firm, um, moist hand, I guess, humid hand, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, um, it becomes very easy. And that's pretty much it. Again, I could go longer or shorter, however you want it. But um, the, the stiffness of this, again, if you don't want it as stiff, you want it flinging, you want to go lighter. Again, this one is 40 pounder, but you could go 60 pound. Um, if you do go thicker, remember, you're gonna have to put a bigger hook on it. This is a 40 four knot, so um, this will be more than enough for 40 pound. If you're going like 100 pound, like really thick fluorocarbon or mono, um, I would prefer, I would say you're gonna have to get a hook that has a bigger eye 
or um, another option I guess I'll show you is just cut one line once you make this dropper loop and then tie it but it's it's not gonna go in if it's like a 60 pound but if you get like 15 pound and you could pretty much put it on any hook so again back and forth pull it back and forth with your finger right back and forth and then you turn it upside down and make this loop right this little loop right here and you turn once twice three time four time five or however you want it to be and you see how it naturally starts turning towards it right you see that I'm not putting it down it's like curling up that way you just have to just put this through that hole that you just made and again lick it or however you want to do it I don't like to lick it um, I like to just keep this finger and I mean, put my thumb and my index finger straighten like that and slowly pull it and then straighten it out again that's the key if you don't straighten it out and if you're in a rush to pull it it's gonna unwind and it's gonna come loose so you want to come come and that's it now I got a double loop double loop just like that and then um, I could put this through the eye or again what I was saying was um, this is tight already so you could just create a little hole right here at the tip of it it's somewhat tight right so you want to get this open up just like that right and you could just cut through one and unwind it you see that so this is gonna this is not gonna come loose uh, this is pretty tight so you could cut this short and not really worry about it unless you're you catch a tuna this is not gonna come off again this is a 40 pound and even with 15 pound unless you're you're not gonna catch any flounder above especially at Atlantic Ocean sea bass you're not gonna catch anything over at most what 10 pounds uh, unless it's one of those record-breaking um, sizes will be like five pounds six pounds at most a good size ten pound um, you're not gonna go over so this alone is gonna hold it so all you got to do is you could if it's a smaller hook um, you could do this just like a regular line right you could just turn 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 just like that just regular um, knot fishing knot through this hole right and through this hole sorry anyways right You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I really screwed up on that one. But you know what I'm talking about. It's a regular knot um, that you're going to put together. That will work. Let me see. Let me do this right. I use my teeth. Right. There you go. And that's it. You got this two line right here. You drop a loop. Let me put this wider angle. See that double loop. Hope you enjoyed it, and hope this catch you some fish. You could put, you could do anything. Put fresh or um, or artificial grub. But I hope this was helpful. If it was, um, push that like button and. And then subscribe. I'm going to make more videos like this. I have all kinds of combinations that I came up with. So uh, subscribe and you'll see some more videos. Thanks.